I'm going to make a tutorial of how to install the Too Many Items mod to your Minecraft game. And this is for a map. I'm pretty sure that it works the same way for PCs and stuff, but anyway, this is just for a Mac because some things are just too difficult for Mac people and whatever. So anyway, first thing you want to do, you want to go to the Minecraft forum and go to the Too Many Items mod page. That's what you want to do and you want to download it for beta 1.5 or I guess whatever whatever version of Minecraft you have. So just download it. You'll probably have to wait for this. Just skip add whatever and then you have it right here, right? So I would just pretty much... Okay, you have it over here. So what you want to do is you want to open it and so you notice that you have all of these class full, like class thingies in here, right? So what you want to do is I think you want to open another finder window and what you want to do is go to your little place on your computer, click library. I hope you can see this by the way. Anyway, just follow my directions, you'll be okay. Just go to library and you should scroll down and in your library you should go to application support and then from there you go to the Minecraft folder, go to your bin, definitely bin. Oh yeah, oh yeah, um, if you haven't modded your Minecraft folder at all, it should have a, a program, minecraft.jar. As you can see, I have a folder called minecraft.jar, and the way that I made this folder is... So you have like something that looks like this, right? And it's called Minecraft.jar. What you want to do, I'm not going to do this for real, but I just want to show you how to do that. hope you can see it. Um, what am I doing? Oh yeah, what you want to name it when it's like Minecraft.jar. You want to put dot .zip. That's what you want to do. And then when it asks you if you want to change it, you have to click use zip. But I don't want to do that right now. So pretty much <laughs> after you do that and you have it changed to a zip folder what I usually do is I just click on it and it opens a new folder but yeah and that usually happens so you can so it gives you this folder called minecraft.jar as you can see I don't have the minecraft.jar.zip in the folder with my minecraft.jar I'm not really sh I don't really remember like what reason specifically I took it out for but um, I know that it was messing with my Minecraft thing because I was messing it up or something so if it messes with your Minecraft just delete your minecraft.jar.zip you can always get it back by deleting your bin folder that'll be fine so when you have your oh my goodness where did I put it you have your um, folder thingies in your too many items folder you wanna you, what you wanna do you want to drag all of these in here and then drop them but I don't wanna do that because I already have them as you can see in there and so if it's gonna ask you like do you wanna replace these files and so any files it asks you to replace you have to say okay or else it's not gonna work and there's, if you scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, it, um, in the M's, there should be a, a folder called made, meta dot, or meta underscore inf, and it, it, it looks like this, like that, it looks like that, and if you see a folder like that, you delete it, you completely delete it, because you don't need it, and it's gonna mess with your mod and so yeah you just delete it and so pretty much that's it that's all you really need to do I mean I can run Minecraft for you to show you how it how it looks I'll show you exactly what it is because it's pretty interesting stuff I am in Minecraft and I'm gonna show you what the too many items mod looks like because I personally love this mod I 
I have a creative server with Andrew, and we just build, and this mod makes it so much easier to just, like, you know, just build. It's so much easier than typing in all, all the data values and stuff, because look, it has pages on the side of your inventory, and you just scroll through them, and you just pick out what you want. It's like, hey, I feel like I want 64 chests because I need that many. Because I'm just a miner and I do whatever I want. You can get bedrock and all those kinds of things. Just, It's so easy. I mean, like, you can get all the different colors of wool. But it should be noted that in single player, it's the only place you can actually get all these different colors of wool. Because when you're trying to go on your server and like use this mod it only gives you the option of like white wool but you can you can always just get some like flowers and then create dye or do whatever you do with the dye here's some dye sweet but yeah I love my texture pack it's so awesome anyway so these things on the side it can save your inventory see so like Say you threw these items in the trash, you know? Because honestly, very often when I'm using this mod, I get too many items, as the name implies. I mean, honestly. But if you threw all your items in the trash, you can go to load one, and then you get all of your items back. So you can have, like, one full of colored wool, one full of tools, one full of whatever. And you can just switch back and forth, you know? I think it's really awesome. I'm a builder myself, so I find this mod really useful. So, so thanks, thanks for watching. I hope this helped you because if you're anything like me, I tried so many videos on YouTube to try to learn how to download mods, install servers on a Mac, and you know. Sometimes they're just really not helpful, so I, I really hope that I helped someone out, and I'll try to help you out further if you need help. Just ask me a question, but I can't promise that I'll be able to answer everything because I'm not particularly a genius, but I'll try. So thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Goodbye.